Hey there guys, today we're going to be taking a look at Deus Ex Mankind Divided running on the i5 1135G7. Now this is currently running at 720p with the lowest possible settings. Pretty much every, every post process effect off, it's like the lowest bare minimum we can actually run this game at and it's running on the DirectX 12 API. And you're going to want to use DirectX 12 because DirectX 11 actually performs noticeably worse not necessarily in the numbers that you see but there is like this noticeable input lag that i just it was noticeable kind of in the one percent lows but they weren't as low as you would expect them to be for how low or how bad the experience felt so there was there's something about directx 11 that just does not play well with this i i'm guessing it just has to do with the fact that directx 11 just takes you know less use of the uh the cpu itself so it's just suffering from performance there it's almost like artificially bottlenecking itself if i'm being honest though i don't think that i would play this game at directx 12 or directx 11 mode both just don't really seem to hit a performance level that i'm happy with uh, certainly we're seeing you know one percent lows that aren't too bad and too distant from the average but just with how well the first game ran it's just kind of disappointing to see how this one's running and certainly the game came out years later after the first one so for sure it was going to be more demanding but the performance overall was just not satisfactory for me going from playing the first game at you know 1080p with all of the max settings to this running at 720p with all of the settings set to low and not even able to hit half of the frame rate that we were hitting with the previous game is very disappointing i'm hoping that once Intel actually releases their DGPUs and they add in their, you know, AI upscaler that maybe it actually translates onto their iGPUs. Probably won't work with this one, but whatever is going to be the next generation that actually replaces, you know, the 1135G7 like Alder Lake. I'm hoping that Alder Lake Mobile actually has support for their AI upscaler because this is a perfect example of a game that would benefit greatly from that. We would probably honestly be able to hit a, a solid 60 FPS if we were able to use you know something like fsr on here now obviously fsr is uh not supported on here there is going to be a version of f of fsr that's going to be added onto the amd drivers soon don't know if that's going to be working on their igpus yet i definitely look forward to testing that out but it is going to be implemented at a driver level so it's going to actually work on anything so on their igpus like the 5500u i'm actually very much looking forward to seeing if we can you know boost the performance on a lot of different games without completely destroying the visuals but it really just depends to uh to see how that turns out and i really hope that intel adds a similar feature onto their igpus because as this stands there are a lot of games that just border on the edge of giving you a great experience on these apus if they could just be given that small little performance boost it could make all the difference here really right here what we would want the most is for those one percent lows to get a bit of an uplift because you know like this is the best one percent lows i could get which was was, you know playing with directx 12 on this cpu but if i was on directx 11 we would be sometimes into the teens and that is pretty much unplayable no matter what your averages are well okay unplayable is a strong word there's definitely playability there it's just one of those things where you're not going to get a great experience and especially if you played the first game on this system you would have had an incredible experience and now here you have to compromise literally everything just to border on the edge of playability so i would say that this this one is one of those uh, proceed at your own tolerance type of games where it's at that edge where for some people this will be perfectly playable for others it will be a nightmare you know so it's just one of those things where you're gonna want to mess around with the game and see if it's okay with you if you already own it if you're thinking about picking it up i would say hold off on that but anyways i hope you found this video useful if you did be sure to subscribe i will see you guys next time